Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and continuing the discussion from the previous video, we started discussing the, what? The examples on the clippers. Today we, we see the book examples. Example 2.18 is the first. Example 2.18. So the circuit is given. You have a you have a source first. So this is a negative to positive source, then you have a diode. And then you have a resistor across which the output is taken. So this is a plus minus input voltage. Let's say this is an ideal diode resistor and this plus minus output voltage. The source has a value of 5 volts and we are given uh, an input voltage which is a sinusoid and having a peak value 20 volts. Now what will happen for the positive cycle? For the positive cycle, this plus is connected to P side, this plus is also connected to P side, this is being forward biased. Yes, by both the sources. This is being forward biased, short circuit V0 is simply equal to V input plus, V input plus this 5 volts. So which means you have a 25 volts at the output, yes. Let's say I, I, I just mention it over here that this is the positive cycle. So this in this cycle the diode is being forward biased by both, right? So then this would imply that V input is equal to input plus this source that is a 5 volt. So which is a 20 plus 5 is a 25 volts for the positive half cycle. So this is my output voltage. The same and over here the maximum value would be 25. Now, now for the negative cycle, what would happen? What would be the case if this becomes minus, for instance, this becomes positive. So this is making it reverse biased. But this source is already making it forward biased. So when we input is less than 5 volts, we input is less than 5 volts, what would happen? Uh, this would be forward biased. But when we input is greater than 5 volts, isn't it like this? Uh, less than minus 5 volt, the diode will be an open circuit. When the input voltage is less than minus of 5 volts, minus of 5 volts, so what would happen? The diode will be reverse biased. This is making it forward biased, this is making it reverse biased. But this is the negative polarity, so that is why I told you, I told you that you should have an, a positive with this with the V input sign. So that is why I shifted the negative to that side. So when V input is less than the negative 5 volt, this would be reverse bias. Basically, this is when the negative V input is less than a positive 5 volt, right? Yes, so this would be reverse bias and when this is reverse bias, this would be an open circuit and V naught would be directly equal to what? V naught would be directly equal to zero volts. V naught would be equal to zero volts, right? Yes, 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 V naught would be equal to zero volts. So have a look. This is my zero volts level and have I made any mistake? So you check it out. I don't think I made any mistake. Let me check from the book. Yes, it's a uh, 25 volts and then it's zero and the reference level is. So have a look. What is the case over here? This is a series clipper, right? So this is a series. And is it a positive clipper or is it a negative? It is a negative clipper. And is it biased? So it is biased. And is it positive bias? Is it negative bias? So I believe this is negative biased. Anyways, you check it because over here we also have a negative sign. And when you consider this polarity with the standard, so this is also uh, in phase with that or it's not. It is. It is for the negative biasing because you have to connect the P over here. So if I connect that over here, so, uh, yes, and the N is like so. I believe this is a negative bias. Yes, otherwise you check it with the standard, and you also can let me know in the comments. This is a negative bias circuit. For the next example, 2.19. What do you have? For example, 2.19, you have the same circuit. You have the same calculations, but the only thing is the input voltage, the input is changed to a square wave. So that is, let's say, 
this sort of a wave this is 20 this is 10 we've already solved it in the previous video you can draw the output for yourself next next is example uh, next is example 2.20 example 2.20 Example 2.20. What does this say now? So 2.20 has a triangular wave. We have a resistor. We have a diode in the opposite manner. We have a plus minus forward source. Plus minus input is applied here. The output is taken over here. So the input is a triangular wave of a 16 and 16 volts. This is time, this is input. 16 is the peak over here, 16 is the peak over here. Positive cycle, plus connected to N side, minus connected to P side making it reverse bias. But the 4 volts is making it forward bias. So when we input is less than 4 volts, this has to be forward biased which means this would be a short circuit and the output would simply be equal to 4 volts the output would be 4 volts let's say over here we have a 4 volts somewhere so this is the region let me just have that region let's say this is the region this is my t by 2 point so in this region what would be the case the output would simply be equal to 4 volts so this is your 4 volts and then for the entire case the other case the input voltage is and I made a mistake I have made a mistake when the input voltage is less than 4 volts so input voltage is greater than 4 in this case so the input voltage is less than 4 volts over here and then over here and also for the negative cycle right and what happens for the next case when the input voltage is greater than 4 volts so this diode would be reverse biased and in that case this would be an open circuit and v naught would simply be equal to v input this is a 16 so let us name the circuit what would be the name of the circuit is this biased it is so this is biased and what sort of biasing a reference voltage is 4 volts over here plus polarity positive bias this is a parallel clipper and, and, and a negative clipper why because it has clipped below a certain region 2.20 is done 2.21 you have to replace it with the silicon diode with a in example 2.21 what do you have to do is that you have to uh, replace the ideal diode by by a silicon diode so you can do that by yourself yes yes you can so i finished this video over here so this got very short so maybe i just uh, combine it with the previous one i just combine it with the previous one and one other thing the book has a summary over it the book the book has a summary over it on page number 85 figure 2.88 so do read it out page number 85 figure 2.88 so this is the summary of all the clipper circuit positive negative unbiased biased right so out of which the first that is shown is unbiased right on both the sides positive and negative the second that is shown is positive biased for both the cases the third is negative biased for both the cases then you have the same parallel clippers so in that also the first shown is unbiased then shown is positive biased for the for the for the positive ones and negative bias for the negative ones similarly over here then you have a negative bias for the positive and over here positive bias for the negative right and then you have a multiple clipper circuit which we see in the next video
so that is it i finished this video over here till the next video take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye